Hey guys, thanks for joining us for series two of our take home exercise videos. Our first exercise is going to focus on pelvic tilting. We're gonna do a wall pelvic tilt. I'm gonna show you facing laterally without the wall first, and then I'll show you against the wall. I'm going to stand, right? And I'm gonna exaggerate that pelvic tilt, dropping my, letting my belly button drop forward and my hips drive back. I'm gonna have a soft knee. I'm gonna brace my abs and pull my pelvis under me into that pelvic tilt. So if I was on that wall, I'd feel that wall compress on my lower back, right? Otherwise, there's also zip your zipper, right? Pull that pelvis up. So what we're going to do is slightly lean on the wall. I'm feeling there's space between me and the wall. I'm going to tuck my pelvis, zip my zipper, and feel that cold wall press into my lumbar. That is a wall pelvic tilt. Go ahead and pause your video and aim for 10 to 15 reps of that, two to three sets. The next exercise in our take home video series two is for shoulder retraction. This one's a little bit more difficult than the first one in series one. We're going to lay down on our mat face down. I would recommend having a little bit of towel or a pillow under your forehead for support. We're going to do W's and A's working on shoulder blade retraction. I'm going to come down, let my head rest on my mat or my little pillow or towel. We're gonna to start with W's. I'm gonna have my thumbs up at the sky. My arms are in the shape of a W. I'm gonna squeeze my butt and pinch my shoulder blades together, which is going to bring my elbows off the ground. I'm going to exhale as I pull. That's the W. To transfer to the A position, I'm going to extend my elbows straight, bring my hands down by the side, and then thumbs up at the sky. Please take notice that my palms are facing out, not in and a little strange twisty movement like that, right? Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to inhale through my nose, squeeze my shoulder blades, exhale, pulling the hands off the ground. That is a shoulder blade retraction exercise. You're gonna go ahead and pause your video and aim to get 10 W's, 10 Y's, two to three sets through. The next exercise in our take home video series two is in a, a little bit more advanced core bracing exercise. We're going to lay on our back. We're first gonna focus on keeping that lumbar tucked on that ground. I'm going to bring my knees and hips into a 90 degree angle, okay? I'm gonna place my hands on my lower part of my quads. I'm gonna inhale through my nose as, as I exhale, I'm gonna put mild pressure into my quads. We're gonna to try to make that last for five seconds. You're gonna go ahead and pause your video now and aim to get at least four to five sets of that five second exhale with that mild pressure on your quads. The next exercise is gonna go over hamstring engagement. We're gonna lay on the floor with our feet under our knees and our hips, our, knee, our feet hip widths apart. I'm going to make sure my lumbar is tucked onto that ground so you can't get your hand under me, right? I'm feeling a nice core engage. I'm now going to take a big step out so I have about a 45 degree angle in my knee and my toes are no longer on the ground. I'm gonna squeeze my butt and push my feet really hard into the ground, feeling my hamstrings activate. Go ahead and pause your video. You're gonna aim for a 20 second hold three to four times through. The next exercise is a breathing drill. We're gonna start on all fours, hands under knee, hands under shoulder, knees under hips, okay? I'm first going to start in the top of that cat position, right? Rounding my back, pushing my hands through the ground. I'm gonna slightly rock forward so that my nose goes over my fingertips and I feel my obliques, the side of my body engage as I rock forward. I'm now going to inhale through my nose comfortably. And as I exhale through my mouth, I'm trying to push all the air out of my body very slowly though. Exhale like it's gold. Try to make the exhale last double the inhale. Go ahead and pause your video and repeat that movement four to five cycles of breathing two to three times through. Make sure you get a good rest in between. The next exercise in our 
Exercise Video Take Home Series 2 is an elevated hip thrust. Go ahead and find yourself an object that's around knee height or slightly lower. We don't want anything much higher. We're going to sit ourselves on top of the object. I'm going to walk my feet away and drop my back off the edge of it, sliding myself down till I'm in the middle of my back, basically split between lower and upper. I'm going to walk my feet away so you don't see my calf touching my hamstring anymore. I'm going to keep my eyes forward at all costs. I can cradle my head in my hands to make it a little bit more comfortable on my neck if that's something that you're feeling during the movement. Okay, or you can be nice and crossed at the center just to get the arms out of the way. I'm going to brace my abs, push my feet through the ground, squeeze my butt, getting my hips as high as I can. Once again, maintaining that forward eyes. Exhale, squeezing, pushing that ground away. Inhale, recovering, abs are on, squeezing my glutes up to the top. You should mainly feel this in your posterior side of your leg and your glutes up in your butt area. Go ahead and pause your video and aim to get 10 to 15 reps of two to three sets of that movement. The next exercise we're going to go over is working on mobility in the ankle, knee, and hip. I recommend using a door frame for this because you most likely don't have a pole like this in your home. What we're going to do is we're going to cradle the door frame from each side, right? You're going to widen your stance into what's comfortable for you in a squat position. You're going to hold on using the door frame to your advantage. You're going to drop your hips back, sitting into the bottom of the movement or as low as you can go. And then we're going to rock around, right? Rocking into my right ankle, rocking into my left ankle, moving my hips around, mobilizing all those joints. You'll then use the rack, push your feet through the floor to stand back up. Go ahead and pause your video. Aim for five reps of this, two to three times through. The next exercise we're gonna go over is focusing on the tripod of your foot. Remember, that's big toe, baby toe, heel connection. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do body weight squats. You're gonna make sure you're barefoot in this or just your socks, right? You're going to first widen your toes as wide as you can and then grip down on the floor. Now your intention would be to keep your arch off the ground, but keep connection with everything else, right? All the way from the big toe to the baby, around the outside of the foot, and right until that arch begins again, okay? So I'm gonna keep my eyes down so I can really focus on what I'm doing. Gripping the ground, I'm gonna inhale down, trying to maintain that foot position, squeeze my glutes up, push the ground away, all the while focusing on gripping the floor. Go ahead and pause your video, aim for five to 10 reps, two to three sets. The next exercise is shoulder rolls. This is focusing on trap mobility. I'll show you both lateral and facing forward. I'm going to keep my elbows straight. I'm gonna pull my shoulders up as close to my ears as I can, pushing them back, squeezing my shoulder blades together, pronouncing my chest forward, bringing them back down, rolling them forward, tucking my chest in, and coming back to start, right? I'm gonna show you forward, same exact movement. I'm, notice how I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing through it. I'm really trying to get full range of motion through my traps and shoulder blades. Go ahead and pause your video. Aim for five to 10 reps, two sets. The last exercise in this video series is focusing on knees out, right? Keeping those knees out when we're doing movements like squatting, deadlifting, and lunging. We're gonna do something called the dirty diaper walk. This exercise can be progressed to have a mini band around your ankles if your coach prescribes it. We're gonna start with our feet slightly outside of our hips. I'm going to bend my knees and my hips, keeping my pelvis under me. And now I'm imagining there's railroad tracks ahead of me. I'm going to drive forward, not bending any of my joints, swinging through the hips, okay, saying low in my squat. When I get five or 10 steps ahead, I'm then going to start reverse, pushing through my heels, staying in those railroad tracks till I get back to my starting position, bracing your abs. Thank you for joining us on this video series. Aim to get five to 10 steps forward and back two to three times through.